Bing bang. Next on Master Chef. Yeah, we'll run another one then. Fuck it. Guys, it's one of the whole show. Jake, let's go. I was proud to carry that dish up and present it to these um, amazing chefs. I think for really the first time in this competition, I was like, there's nothing I would change about that dish. Wow. Now that's absolutely beautiful. Really? Is it? You definitely listened to, uh, to what I said about a good balance to the salsa. I see some uh, moistness there. The sauce, I don't know the taste. I'm going to taste it right now, but the sauce is absolutely stunning. Not too thick, not too runny. Seasoning is amazing. Thank you. Well, guess what, Jake? It works, and you rocked it. Thank you. you Good job. Taste the fish, bro. OK, Whitney, let's she go. She got like four micrograms of the I sauce. Definitely she definitely did not feel very did good or fish? confident about what I prepared for them. And Kat Cora was tasting it. And I didn't want to let myself down, but her down, knowing that you know, I did a crappy job of making her dish. Hey, Whitney, how are you? Good. Please lose. Let's see uh, how you did on your dish. That looks um, like a mess. You know, the thing that I'm seeing with your sauce is a, a little, little bit, it's actually a little runny. I should not be able to, like, do that and then have it run like that. Need seasoning. Anything can look gorgeous. You can put it in front of somebody. Taste is everything. But you definitely need some seasoning on that, OK? No seasoning. The fish, you know, slightly overcooked. The actual salsa, not really seasoned. You know, you had a really, a really good chance to make all these things sing and instead they're just kind of they're not even humming no. it sucks so bad because i had just got in the top of the cupcake challenge and then i turned around and i could see myself in the bottom three and that's definitely not where i want to see myself that's how the show works lady knowing there's elimination at the end of it okay last but not least farouk let's go so my confidence is high. No. I said, you know what? If this plate right here is going to put me in the bottom three, then I don't deserve to be here. Farouk is, guys, this is it. Did you follow Chef Kaur's method? Yes, very organized. I've tried to follow it to the T as much as possible. Boy, the sauce looks pretty good, though. Why? Well, I, I think you killed it. I think that you definitely, there's a looseness to the sauce. It could have been a little bit thicker. That just comes from, you know, whisking it a little bit more, not rushing it too much. Um, the salsa, but just a little dry, you know. It's not, not a good mix of the, the seasoning and the oil. It's, it's too bad, man. Oh, come on. Thank you. So it's a very thin slice of halibut. That could be your nemesis. You could go back and bite you on the butt because it can be overcooked instantly. Perhaps? Damn, the fish is dry. Oh. And it sort of falls apart far too easily. You go through there and it's like sort of. He's, he's, like he, he's, he's got to start crying now. This is his last texture. chance. Um, it's that news you've got that dry skin on the top. Okay. It needs I just that want to thank you so much for being oh, able to laugh at the end of each day means the most to me. The last six months have been hard on me, but you're always here. Thank you, Philip. Sexy oh, see you. Oh, man, you're chilling. Excitement. What do you say? I have to go back. Canned texture. And the sad news is you've got that dry skin on the tomatoes, and it needs that, that oomph, that marinade, and that salsa sort yeah. of excitement. Um, and then sadly let down with the dryness of the fish. What a shame. Damn, that's tougher. Before the elimination, Kat Cora, along with the MasterChef judges, select the best dish. Let's get to our winner. And we all agreed 
that it was the dish that was closest yes, to cat in terms time. of presentation, yeah, Jake execution, technique, and the whole plate coming together as one. Congratulations. Jake. Jake. Well done. Well done. Again. It was sort of like surreal. I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure he just said Jake, or at least something that rhymes with Jake. It's it's awesome. And so uh, I was super stoked. Now that the judges have chosen the best dish, it's time to select the bottom three. And for one of those unfortunate chefs, Farouk, their time the in the guy Master Chef kitchen. And we'll wait, guys, 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 some of these guys are so bad, so low content. They didn't even show their plate. Okay, first dish in the bottom three belongs to Mike. Let's go. Oh, damn, this guy was one of the right. best, though. I did not expect to see you here. How could you go from hero to zero <laughs> in such a short space of time? Second person, Farouk, to join Mike. Slim. Yep, for sure. I was gonna say, yeah, I've been the demonstration live. Um, I don't expect someone with your uh, enthusiasm for food to forget to strain a sauce. And Farouk is cooked here. He Joining is. Slim and Mike. I am terrified. If they call my name, I definitely know I'm just gonna break down. I was a really shocked. Party in the 90s and did recovery. Thank you for all the dreams and making Farouk. this time easier. Farouk, Farouk. Go. them right. Get your ass down here, dude. For the second week in a row, Farouk finds himself in the bottom three. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I literally felt by this point I was bleeding out. My dish wasn't one of the best today, but you know, oh, I don't, I don't think it was bottom three material. That fish died for a reason, so that you could take it and put it in a pan and make it amazing. It, it's it's so sad. It's almost unforgivable. You've got to do more than just dream about being Jesus. a great chef. You've got to practice it and live it every day. Slim, I'm concerned about your one-trick pony style cooking. Mike, you move a little bit too fast for your own good. And Farouk, you're lacking finesse. Okay. The person Jeez. that is leaving MasterChef is Slim. Slim is she's gone. Slim is gone. Farouk. No! What the fuck? <sighs> what the fuck? Please take off your apron. No! The time is down to Master Chef. Now, you follow your dream. You keep your head up high because you have come a long way in a very short time. It Not was a pleasure cooking time. here in this kitchen, meeting everybody, and it was a privilege to cook for y'all. Thank you. You made your family proud, Farouk. When I walked off, there was no sorrow. You know, just, just being here, being a part of this whole Master Chef thing, man, the mentors that we were able to get, the advice that we were able God to get. I mean, all that stuff was priceless. I grew so, so much just by making mistakes. The only thing that I'm extremely disappointed about is that I didn't get a chance to show what I can really do in the kitchen. I can cook, damn it. I can cook. All right, sorry, man. Slim's gotta get out of here. No content, bad at cooking. The remaining 10 are about to be split into opposing teams Uninteresting, complainer. For a challenge to satisfy some of and the hungry and, and, and she doesn't cry. In the country. You're gonna be cooking for the backbone of America. Truckers. What the hell are you asking for? Dude, you, are you doing the burgers, you right? Are you Fuck. Oh my That's god. That's why you're still on the show, then. Play the team that loses Today, will face the dreaded God, pressure test, where one more contestant's dream yeah, of becoming EBI. America's first master chef will come to a bitter end.
100 miles from the pristine MasterChef kitchen, the remaining 10 competitors find themselves in the middle of the harsh wasteland of the California desert with no idea what today's challenge holds. You see desert on your left, and you see snow-capped mountains on your right, and a whole bunch of nothing, some, some abandoned buildings. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> this is nuts. I'm stop cooking. OK. <laughs> <laughs> The truck stop. Hey. <laughs> okay. Right, good morning. Good morning. You've cooked for us. You even had the chance to cook for Cat Cora. But now it's time to cook for the people who are clearly the backbone of this country. Them right. Today, your challenge is to cook for a hundred hungry ass truck drivers. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are going to make them the ultimate truck stop dish. What would that be? Hamburgers. Yeah. Yep. Right. Hamburgers and potatoes. I was Sweet a potatoes maybe many even. Years, and I've spent certainly my fair share of time at truck stops. Yeah. So it totally, you know, struck a chord with me. I was like, yeah, this is going to be cool. I can really dig in and get into this. Yeah, some Nothing potatoes says America for sure. like a hamburger. You probably had 100 in your lifetime. I probably had 50 last week. <laughs> I guarantee these truckers have had more. Some of them eat them every day okay. of their lives. Okay. Today, you'll be competing in teams. A blue team versus the red team. Each team will have their own truck behind you full of the most amazing ingredients, from chuck steak to pork to seasoning. Everything you need to make that ultimate burger is in that truck. Now, you have to grind the meat yourselves. <laughs> so therefore, you put the combination together. Whether it's beef, pork, lamb, that's your choice. Remember, these guys are long-haul all all truckers. What's it going to take to win them over? Is it a gourmet burger? Is it a burger that has more of an Americana sensibility? Fuck so gourmet think burgers, about man. it very carefully. I, 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 don't, Jake, I don't believe in that. Yes, you clearly had the most stunning halibut dish in our last challenge, so therefore you get to pick your team. Yes, chef. Come over here, please, buddy. Take it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like like the crispy golden top bird that's like a big bun that goes like, I like the normal nice How you uh, feeling? wheat I feel bun I'm gonna ask with sesame seeds nominate. on it. The first member of your team, okay? Jake, with his experience with beef, that's gonna be the winning team in my mind. I wanted to True. be part of that team He's right. so much. To me, it would True. be a huge advantage in this competition. First nominee is actually gonna be Tracy. Oh, thank you, Jakey. I love this girl. She's awesome. She cooks with a lot of love, a lot of passion. Secondly, uh, I'm going to go with this girl. She kind of struggled on her last challenge, and I want to try and help kind of build her back up, you know, on a personal level. So, Whitney, I want you to come over here. Yeah. Uh, third choice, I feel like uh, going into battle, I've got to have my guys on the ground that can lead the troops. And today, that's Lee. I want Lee on my team. Lee? Who the fuck is Lee? Jake won the challenge. I immediately knew I'm not going to We haven't seen Lee since episode one. We're both, I think, alphas, you know, and very dominant in our situations, like to do things our way. I just ready to go to battle, ready to go to war on this. So the last pick, take a good look at them, because okay. it's your last. I got to go with Tony. Wow. Tony and I were like what? peas and carrots in the kitchen. Okay. And uh, he keeps me level and keeps me calm. I was psyched, you know? I felt we had a rock solid team. Good, good, Tony good. Take is one and pass trash. Them along. Put them on. Likewise, red team, take them on, pass them along. Jake believes he has picked the winning team by choosing Tracy, Whitney, Tony, and Lee. While the remaining cooks, Sharon, Chital, Slim, David, and Mike, by default, have become the underdogs. We're not the team that was picked. However, being an underdog is always extra motivation. Nothing to lose, something to prove. Each Sharon and Mike are going to pop off, though. We'll have a burger from the blue team and a burger from the red team. Whichever burger they prefer wins the challenge. The losing team will face a pressure test, and on the back of that pressure test, one of you will be eliminated from MasterChef. Easy, easy. You You'll just bench slim. 30 minutes prep time. 30 minutes starting from now. Off you go. Bench Slim, bench the other girl, and just fucking carry the show, the dude. teams have only 30 minutes before the truckers start to arrive. In this short time, they must first select their meats, buns, and toppings, and then grind, season, and prep 100 patties for service. Right, blue team, burger, what is it? We're doing a, uh, we got two different types of red meat going in here. What cut? 
Uh, short ribs? Uh, short ribs and uh, short loin, too, yeah? Short loin. Yeah. Any pork in there? No. No. Okay, garnish okay. the burger. What is it? Coleslaw. Uh, butter fashion. lettuce. Yep. Uh, slice of onion. Yes. Slice of tomato. And uh, a killer little uh, slaw we got on the okay. side. Okay, we're going with kind of a Route 66 burger and top it with some killer slaw, you know, like the secret sauce. Some killer will. slaw, damn right. How are you doing, girls? We're great. Are you done? I'm done. Okay, I'm getting ready to come let's and get help. it out here and get it set up. Ask what Lee needs for help or okay. help Whitney slice onions, okay? Okay, got it. You girls start going on the meat. These are Americans. I think Just we should started. do 100% beef. Okay. Meanwhile, the red team is also opting for a 100% all Smart. beef burger and an eclectic blend of accompaniments. We knew we had to make it powerful. We had to add a lot of flavor in it. Oh, Apple cider vinegar. I think I'm making some slaw. Did you want to get some potatoes for Definitely sure, dude? Definitely bacon. What trucker doesn't like bacon Just in a burger? Just slaws a good side. Good chunk of caramelized uh, sauté. It's not good enough. 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 Blue cheese in the mix. That's ambitious. I, I really love oh, it's, it's blue cheese. It, it gets beautifully melted, and I, I read that. Yeah, like you can see the spots. Before. It looks real cool. You bite into it and it dribbles out. Why did you say, say blue cheese? Did you not? Ambitious. I, I really love. Oh, in there, you put the blue cheese in the and black pepper and smoked paprika. Is there anything that's not in there? You put the blue cheese in the mix? Blue cheese in the mix. That's ambitious. I, I really love Why? blue cheese. It, it gets beautifully melted and, you know, like you can see the spots. It looks real cool. You bite into it and dribbles out. No, team. absolutely not. Blue cheese inside the burger and then a barbecue sauce. And bacon. No flavors make yeah. sense. I think the red team has definitely fallen prey to these I celebrity hate chef burgers. patties with stuff inside of it. I think that's just disgusting. Just stop doing that. Nobody likes it. Ten minutes left, guys. Ten minutes left. When there's Slicing chunks inside your your your, 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 your patty, it's just trash. Uh, we're doing a 50-50 combo with two cuts of meat. Kind of very Americana, but I think we're going to pull this off today. Whenever you have some patties ready. Yeah, we're working on it right now. Right behind you. Jay took control. Tony, me, Lee, this, Whitney, Prep. You know, everybody got their jobs. Everybody just fell in line. We were a well-oiled machine. You guys are kicking ass. While the blue team remains calm and collected, the red team discovers a crucial problem with their beef and blue cheese patties. What? Oh my god. Oh. I can't serve that, dude. Dude, it's, it's, it's leaking all over the it's grill. It's leaking up it's and it's smoking everywhere. The blue cheese. It's leaking out and it's burning. It gunked all over the place, got all over the griddle, melted through. It was a uh, complete Their fire is way too high, isn't it? No, no blue cheese way in the patty, too high. please. That's yeah. disgusting. Bad, Jeez, bad call, guys. No blue cheese. Put it away. You got it. Two minutes left until the first trucker arrives. A hundred burgers each. Come on, dude. With only two minutes Mike left, is washed up. the blue team's burger station it. is in full swing. But on the red team, panic is taking hold as they scramble to prep a whole new batch of burgers. Uh, we need a lot more meat, guys. We're screwed. Just turn those out first, brother. Come on. Where's the salt and pepper? Have to salt and pepper salt. this. The red team at this point is in jeopardy of not having food when the truckers show up here in the next couple of minutes. Right. The blue team, judging from a dozen burgers on the grill and a set-up line, will have food to offer the truckers. Doesn't matter how good your food is if you can't get it made yeah. and put up in time. Okay, guys, I think we can see the first trucker coming now. It's utter chaos. It arrived. Are you doing buns? What's going on? No, we, we got to do patties. Come on, guys. We're like, what the f is going on right now? Here we go. Oh, my God. Nah, it looks terrible. Yeah, they, 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 they lose. It's not Flynn's fault. Mike is washed up. Guys, the truckers are starting to arrive. Motherfucker, motherfucker even says it's going to leak out when you're chewing it or whatever, right? So he puts a bunch of bullshit inside the burger and he puts the flame at the 3,000 degrees, motherfucker. What do you think is going to happen, man? Did it. it. It burned and did it. It's GG, man. Who is it? Was it Mike? Who was it then? Who was it then? Huh? That's David. Hey, They're both washed up. We're going to get Mike you a lovely burger. As the first truckers roll in, the blue team is prepped and ready to go. Serving up their all-beef patty topped with raw onion, lettuce, tomatoes, Swiss cheese, and an old-fashioned coleslaw. There you go. You enjoy Swiss that, cheese. okay? I would say this is the best burger I've had in years. 
Let's go blue. Our burgers are firing. I like a good Truckers are coming through. We're feeding on them. a burger. I look over the red team and it's utter chaos. Hold on, Shizo, grab this. Hot, he's over here. No, let her, let her do it. Hey, come on. Wait, what come about on. the burgers? Dude, you, are you doing the burgers, right? No, you are. Scrapping the blue cheese from their patty mix has put the red team way behind schedule. Gruyere is the way butter to do it. Lettuce, butter lettuce. Yeah. Butter lettuce. Butter? Right. What the hell are you asking for? You're yeah. going to put the burgers on? You're going to put the bacon on? Me? No, no. Oh, no, he's sorry. not ready to. Okay, Buns are burning. Bacon's not cooked. It's not cooking evenly. Crowded too. Crowded Lady, yeah, open these up. Oh, okay, we got them. Here's open. open. These yeah. are open. Red team, yes, chef. seriously, get a bit of teamwork going on. Right yes, now, look, it's looking a little bit embarrassing. Yes, chef. She tell, they can't vote for the red team unless they taste the red I team's burger. That. I realize that. Help Dave make those patties right now, please. Red team, any burgers also, ready, I feel please. like you're going to put bacon on a, on yeah, in, can in we a burger. Serve? It's going to be a oh, little guys. bit overcooked. In all honesty, on a normal day, would you really wait for a burger when you've been driving for six hours? <laughs> no. No chance. Just give me one gun piece, Mike. Thank you. Finally, the red team is serving their gourmet you have a all beef burger, ass. topped with sautéed onion, bacon, Swiss bacon cheese, thing. and their secret weapon, Sharon's Chipotle barbecue sauce. There we go, oh, man. Enjoy, bon appetit. That's the first burger out, guys. Yeah, congratulations. With 100 hungry truckers to be served, the race is on. The first team to 51 votes wins, while the losing team faces the dreaded pressure test, where one person will be eliminated. OK, red team, blue team, listen to me. Chris has had a burger from each team. He's now going to cast the first vote on which one he prefers. So two different burgers, one from the blue team and one from the red team. Come on, baby no, blue. No. I'm not feeling yeah. confident at all with our first trucker. But what I did know is that we were making a kick-ass burger, and that burger was going to be the best burger out there. Interesting combinations. Which one did you prefer? Was it from the blue team or the red team? It's got to be blue. It's got to be blue. Yeah, blue! We might be disorganized, but we make a hell of a burger. Come on! No, red wins that. Pull it. Yeah, red. The red team. Woo! Yeah! Hallelujah! Why did you prefer the red team over the blue team? The, um, the sauce is good. Right. And the hamburger was good. I mean, yeah. It was done just right. That don't mean nothing. That's one burger. Red team or blue team? Red team. Red team, wow. Off you go. OK. Yay! I had just told my blue team, whatever is happening with the scoreboard, it doesn't matter. Just stay focused on the job at hand, and the best burger will win. Settle down, settle down. There you go, you enjoy that, okay? The sauce is scary. I think sauce equals cool win, I think so too. It's like homemade, it's like like your mom would make, you know? Make sure you In a burger, don't, I feel you don't want your barbecue Pine sauce. Tree. It's Direct too smoky. Burger, it's electric you think it's sweet. I understand that if I was going to the chair, I'd want a red team burger. Okay, red team, it's 5 5. Keep it going, guys, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Blue! Oh, oh shot. Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah. Feeling better. You know, we got a rhythm going. Yeah. And uh, I think that was our, our problem from the start. Yeah. Is we were all over the place. Now it's our turn. We're just like, like a perfectly oiled machine. And then I look over to the score, and we're tied. OK, dude. It's game time. Okay. Get them in the fat, and then just yeah. give them a quick sear, and put them on here. Raw onion. Them Always raw onion. And then you're going to toast them right up there. In a bold move to break the tie, Sharon comes up with a clever idea. Yeah, get that bacon in yeah, there. Yeah, hell yeah. Beautiful. I took the bun, put it in that bacon grease, let it sit in it for a couple minutes and marinate and do what it wanted to do. Then I put it back on the grill and I got the really the most beautiful toasted bun you've ever seen damn, in your life. Damn, that looks dang. I like that touch, a little bacon grease around it. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Wow, that is, that, is a, that is a showstopper right there. Look at that. We're making bacon buns. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Bacon bun, bacon bun. Best hamburger he ever had, you guys! Okay, stop, stop. Yeah. My ears. Adaptability I'm show, man. Oh. I'm not worried. There's a bunch of blue plates out there right now, and they're going to end up walking up there put tugging on that blue handle. That's what I'm talking about. Win. Yeah! Someone put those burgers onto the grill. Red my boo. I love you! Oh, yeah! They've just hit 30. Red team, well done. All of a sudden, the red scoreboard starts lighting up like crazy, you know? It's just like... How is this possibly happening? This is the burger 
that's beating your ass at the moment. Have a taste, guys, yeah? yeah? It's not too late to adjust. First one to 51, yeah? With the red team surging ahead, that bacon looks Gordon terrible, though. offers the blue team a taste of the opposition's burger. Raw bacon, right out of the gate. I'd serve no bacon before I'd serve raw bacon. A little dense. A little dense, I think. A lot dense. I, that burger I just tasted was gross. To me, yeah. it was gross. It was burger slaughtered than barbecue sauce and raw sure. bacon. So. Okay, you're cooking for truckers. We do the best we can. That, that is fucking life lifeless burger than fucking coal yeah. slaw, you moron. Good. Some I've truckers yeah. come in, you you jump trucks all fucking day, then working hard in the sun, they come into your shop and give them some fucking coal slaw, you moron. Shut up. And take off in a different direction. You pick the cheese. Jesus. Yeah? You chose the recipe. I'm proud of my cheese. I'm not asking you proud or not. We win together, we lose together. And don't sound like a loser. You want to win this competition, right? Absolutely. We will win this competition. Good. Let me put it to you this way. There is no way that the red team had a better burger than the blue Jesus. team. Yeah! <laughs> You're seven away from winning, red team. Seven burgers away from winning. Red team are now serving double burgers. No yeah. shot you got to a come back. Well done, right? Double with cheese. Double with cheese. Double burger, medium with cheese. Double. Bacon. You are talking my language. We're kicking the blue team's butt here. Double patty, that double dude. cheese. Double bacon. That pay looks like it's seasoned. Everything. We Jesus. adjusted, we improvised, we were adaptable, and that was our edge. Six burgers away from winning. Come on, come on. These people are saying huh? it's the best burger they've had. They Seriously? love the See, sauce. I think that this is where it's not only cooking, you gotta do some marketing. Yeah. You gotta think like a restaurant. Look at this. Work, work. Mike is out on the floor, work the table line. side, spooning out barbecue sauce. Here we go. Here we what do we got? Tailspin. Red team. Red or blue? Red? Red yes. or red? Come on, guys. I tried. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. We need Sell these burgers, baby. Don't worry about the temperature. Just serve them. Serve them. Come on, Red Team! We need a vote. We need a vote. Let's go, go Blue! No, that thing needs no pickle. Uh, a pickle. 47! Amazing! 47, guys! Come on! So guys, remember the first one to 51 wins. One nice Come on, we need all the slice of pickle. Man. All the okay, no, okay, oh, no problem. Right now. Yes! Oh. Yo! So they don't they'll come back in the shot. Here we go. Oh! On that board oh, shit. is oh, I did. one more vote. Okay, red team, Damn. red team. <laughs> this next vote could win the competition for the red team if this trucker holds that cord. Sir, off you go. It's red. He's going straight to, straight to it. He's running the red. I'm watching the show, man. Okay, this holds that cord. Mad? Mad? Our burger was a better burger. The weaker burger won today. A Not boring gold spot win, with a boring burger. A really cocky team's butt, who still, after we won, thought that they had a better burger. I let the truckers speak for themselves, and they spoke red team all the way. True. They win because Reddy was Republican? Okay, stop. That's, that's Copa. That is NFT tier Copa in there, if I've seen it. With the red team safe, the blue team is about to face the dreaded pressure test that will send one of them home. This is my test. first pressure test, so the only thing I know to expect is the absolute unexpected. This means business, you know, somebody is going to actually go home today. It's tense. I was legitimately scared. Yeah. Under this black curtain in front of you are 25 ingredients. They feature things from all over the world. You have ingredients that you might be comfortable with. You might have things here that you've never yeah, seen before. Who the fuck is Lee? Now, this is a unique pressure test. Lee hasn't been on camera since fucking Identify intro season ingredients one. with your eyes, yes? Today's pressure test, you'll guess as many ingredients as you can in a row. When you get an ingredient wrong, your time is done. I appreciate all the, the individual that guesses the fewest ingredients from this table. Lick him and Out of this whole team, Lee and I'm the only one who's actually faced the pressure test already. I'm kind of confident with knowing I'm the only one who's experienced this already. Jake, 
You're going first. Let's go. So oh, I'm thinking, damn, he just hit the oh, bar. Wow. I'm going to walk in, and the judges are going to say, OK, Tracy, you have to name 25 or you're going home, because Jake is going to get all 25. Um, OK, Jake, be clever. Good luck. You don't have to be Thank clever you. here. You don't have to be clever. Joe, you work your way up, but not down. Get the easy ones first. I'm looking at what the these 25 fuck ingredients, is that? and I'm like, okay, boom, boom, boom. My eyes are darting around. I'm seeing a bunch of stuff that I get. I'm Salmon. seeing a few things that I probably am pretty sure about. And then Banana, I'm blue things, cheese, but, rhubarb. I don't, I don't really know what that is. Uh, arugula, bullshit. Okay, Jake, take one ingredient onto the table and tell us exactly what it is. What the fuck well, is that? I, those are golden raisins. No shite, Emma. Correct. Okay. Whew. One. Good job, Rick. I know exactly why it's called a pressure test, because you are under a tremendous amount of pressure. That looks like brie cheese. It's one shot on each ingredient. And if you get it no, wrong, it's, it's not ready that's enough. it. it that's be your number. So bra, bra, there's bra. zero room for error. Check. It is brie. Got it? What is that? Tomatillo. Tomatillo, OK. Correct. OK. Well done. Keep it going, buddy. I was just really trying to stick That's with what I knew the catfish. and work my way through those ingredients. What is that? Uh, made a shoot from it many times. Uh, it's a butternut squash. A fucking what? Three. Yeah. Butternut yeah. bullshit? <laughs> and this is about touching butternut the squash texture. Identification with the eyes. That's uh, hazelnuts. Cooking. Yeah. With the eyes. Okay. What are they? Macadamia. Macadamia. Nuts. Sorry, my God. Sorry. Congratulations. Four. Yeah. Good job. Confident start. And not the easiest ingredients you've it. chosen. It. Love it. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, uh, He's gonna uh, set the bar real high time? for the rest of them. Because he, he knows his ingredients. Uh, no, it's well. fucking. Um, so whoever's gonna come next is gonna Rosemary. What is that? That is definitely rosemary. Fuck. Uh, Congratulations. Well done. No, good. My strategy was get as much as you know it's down okay. and then go to the stuff that you, you know, are like 70 or 80% sure of. Papaya. That's or a plant. Or packing food or whatever Correct. that is. Correct. Well, that's right. yeah. What's that? That's cake. Yeah. That's lemongrass. It's uh, filet. Wow. Smoked salmon. Salmon. Congratulations. Well done. And if you get through that, you eventually, me personally, was going to be faced with that I have never even seen before. It doesn't have to go there yet, though. Wow. Jake, what is that? Uh, it's okra. Correct. Thank you. Well done. Nice. Woo! Ten. 15 left. Rhubarb. Keep going. Rhubarb, really motherfucker. Start. Absolutely Jake. rhubarb. What is that? That's rhubarb. Yeah. Yeah. Rhubarb. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. yeah. 11 in a row. Correct. How many are you unsure about now? Oh, maybe half a dozen. No, he's got this. You gotta, you gotta smell it. Okay. No, no, it, it's over. It's it done, Gigi. The twelfth ingredient. Tough on this one. Yeah. The pressure's really on. Okay. Arugula? Have you ever cooked with that ingredient before? Uh, I really don't cook it. I just kind of used it in Spinach dishes. Spinach or basil? So cooking it. It cooks brilliantly. Don't it fuck this up. What is that? Uh, sorrel. Sorrel. Jake, that is watercress. Ah, you were sorely mistaken. Jake, you've scored 11 out of 25. 
Sorrow. Jake. 11 ingredients? No way. I'm thinking to myself, dude, you blew it. You're Water done. crest. Did that, did, yeah, that sounds like, sound like a Pokemon. Guys, 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 he had so much shit in there he could have gotten, though. No? What do you have left in there? Um, this over there, what is that again? I forgot what this is. This is just in my, it's in my shampoo or some shit. This is in my shampoo or some shit. Some sort of plant, yeah, a papaya. Jake, that is dog shit. No way. I'm thinking to myself, dude, you blew it. You're done. Bye bye. No, he no shot. He's still in. Uh, what about catfish? That's so easy. Jake, you scored eleven out of twenty-five. Right. Hopefully dog that's shit. Enough. Yeah. I, at that moment, thought I had just handed this competition over. Next up is Tony. Let's go. Okay, Tony, pressure test. The number to beat is 11 out of 25. I was like, Jake got 11? Man, I was, I was pegging Jake to get, like, 22 or something like that. But I felt okay. like, you know, I had a shot at, you okay, know, at least getting to a dozen see of then. things. Think wisely. Tony. What is that? That is rosemary. Okay. Congratulations. All Good right, Tony. Keep it going, bro. Good stuff. No, don't. Okay. Ingredient number oh, two. Oh, that's what easy. What is that? That's I'm gonna a, say uh, nectarine. Uh, Congratulations. Well done. I'm starting to like cycle through my brain through the mental Rolodex here, like. Huh? Tony, what is that? I believe it is a catfish. That's not what I'm it is in say French, that's, is it? Uh, macadamia nut. Come on, man. I'm like, all right, you know, I know what that is. 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 You know, I feel it's like, all right, you know, I, I think is I can it? get to 11, at least tie Jake here. Uh, tomatillo. Well done. What is that? I'm going to say it's okra. I'm going to say it's blue, blue cheese. cheese. You're over there, and you're watching somebody that's got your fate in their hands. It's a super emotional train wreck just waiting to happen. Uh, I'm going to say that's a filet mignon. I'm gonna go with plantain. It's lucky number nine. Yeah. Come on, Tony. Go, Tony. Two more, buddy. Next ingredient. Is it gonna send you to double figures? Think wisely. Ingredients. Dude, number don't 10. go with the hard what ones. What is that? I believe it's a passion fruit. That's just jumping out at me right now, just seeing the way it's laying down. So I'm gonna go with the passion fruit. Passion fruit, fruit yeah. If you're star, right, isn't it star fruit? you're one ingredient yeah, away ask. from tying with Jake. That ingredient is a fruit, but not passion. It's a star fruit. Uh, wait, wait, is this the same Nine thing? out of 25. Passion fruit. I don't know what I was thinking. I would never would have thought twice about it. I would have said a star fruit. I've seen it in the market a thousand times. I'm an idiot. Jake. Guys, guys, Big deep we had the salmon still there and shit. Climb the stairs. Yeah, sure. The three cheese, motherfucker. I shot myself in the foot. I knew what so many other things were are on that thing. Yeah, then why did you do that, Please, you moron? This is scripted That's bullshit. Nice. Okay. The numbers of beat is nine. 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 I am extremely happy. All I need to do is guess 10, and I know that I have this. These are things that I can name in my sleep. I would have gotten more in than In my hand, I have a nectarine. This is a butternut squash. Right here, I have rosemary. This is a papaya. Yeah, I have see? Papaya. Macadamia nuts. This is okra. These are golden raisins. These are tomatillos. This is star fruit. You're tied with Tony. Well done. Nine in a row. He comes up. And he just starts firing Salmon, things off. Salmon, no, fillet. Like, you know, bring in whoever's next. Bring in Whitney or Tracy. Lee, get this right. You're joining Jake. What's in your hand? In my hand, I have smoked salmon. Damn. Easy. He's in. Join Jake. Congratulations. Well done. No, let him finish yeah. it. Yeah. Good job, Lee. Thank you. Well let done. Let him finish the damn thing. Nailed it. Going upstairs. And then there were two.
Right, Whitney. Tony got nine in a row correct. Good luck. Tony has no content, though. He's quiet. He's quiet. She's 22. I'm like, maybe, you know, the pressure. His interviews are, are too uh, humble. First ingredients. This is okra. Dear Lord, please. I'm like, you know, I need some company over here. Tom Matilio. These are dried black eyed peas. I see a black lot of bees? southern things going on. You know, just a band. rattling them off. These are golden raisins. This is a butternut squash. It's a nectarine. It's smoked salmon. It's rosemary. This is a papaya. No. She went for the plantains. I'm like, oh, Winnie, please say banana. Please say banana. Not an easy one. What's on that plate? This is a plantain. Oh. Uh, no such luck. Well done. Ten in a row. Good job. Ooh. Starting to get hot. Even like doing like signature dishes or cooking in that kitchen, I haven't sweat like I was sweating up there today. Last up, Tracy. All right, Trace. Oh, Tracy. Tracy. She lost. She Doctor's lost the door. She loses it. She Good gets, she gets seven. The pressure is really on. Tony, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel like it's uh, getting late early around here. Tracy. Yeah. Tony got nine out of 25 correct. Really? Nah, she's going to cry. The producer's going to come in and he's going to give her his ingredients. Nine? He only got nine? OK, but 10. Ten. Let's see the better. Off. Nine, you tie with Tony. Any less than nine, Tracy, you're leaving Master Chef. Being a girl from Georgia, I'm going to go with these little babies right here first. And I'm thinking, oh, here's another southern girl. It is a sign of good luck. And these are black eyed peas. That brought you lots of luck. Well done. Good start. <laughs> really good. Nice. Way to get it started. There you go. Blah, blah, this blah, blah. Okra. Plantain. Hey! Catfish. Hey! Che cheater. They're cut. They're, they're cut, man. And she can touch them. What the fuck is Plantain. that? Catfish. These are um, golden raisins. This is smoked salmon. They didn't get to cut it. That is rosemary. This is rhubarb. Well done. <laughs> Don't let them get you, girl. <laughs> like, you know, bottom of the ninth, base is a little loaded. I only got one run lead, and there's nobody out, and it's not feeling good. You've got eight ingredients in a row, correct. You need this one to tie with Tony. Wait. It is a nectarine. Tony deserves to go home for You sure it's not a Georgia? No. <laughs> I'm a Georgia peach. That's yeah, you're right. not a, a bee with a brim is a joke. Congratulations, Tracy. You are now tied with nectarines. Oh, well done. This next ingredient is either going to be my favorite ingredient or it's going to be the ingredient that will haunt me for the rest of my life other than a cupcake. Wait. Absolutely oh. sure. Chai, is there a black <laughs> line on, on my left and right so. on the screen? Right. Um, OK, let me look over these ingredients again. There's on, on, on my mirror. I kind of zone in on, you know, this red meat. It seems pretty straightforward. Hold up. But they have got to put a ringer on here. They have got oh, to it's put a show. something on this table that is going to trip up all of these smart contestants. All right, let's do this. You guys wouldn't trick me, right? If you get this ingredient right, Tony is eliminated from MasterChef. I just hope I have what it takes just Guys, to, to make it back into the it safe It doesn't count, and, though. It's uh, cut keep perfectly. Keep my apron and uh, keep on fighting here. Name that ingredient, please. Yeah, it's taking it wrong. This is... I'm watching the show, bitch. I'm trying to watch this thing. If you get this ingredient right, Tony is eliminated from MasterChef. Name that ingredient, please. This is filet mignon. Oh, Tracy. Just say it. It's filet mignon. Well done. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 
Congratulations. Join the rest of them. Tony, please come over. Thank you. Okay, in all Your journey's friends, been don't... amazing. Yeah, he's wearing a beanie with a brim. But guys, he is. And no. you took us all by surprise. Trust me, deep down inside, there's an amazing, passionate, burning chef at heart there. Continue following that dream. And if you don't find that dream, then give me a call. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Right on, Tony. Yay. Me. Okay. Yes, you with no kid. brim. It just bums me out. That's, that's not how I wanted to leave. I beat myself today. And uh, that's the worst part about it. I really wanted to shine. Like, I wanted that day where I had the best dish, and I didn't get that chance. And, you know, I got to learn new things in this competition. I got to learn that I can go outside my comfort zone, and I can cook with things I'm not familiar with. And I, I pulled it off. And I mean, if I could do that, it made me feel like I could do anything. You know, you only get one shot at this life. And go out there, you just keep smiling, living and breathing, and having a good time. OK, man, thank you, man. Next time on MasterChef. Don't, don't spoil it.